What's going on guys? Thanks for stopping by my little channel. I'm wearing my Reverse Panda Automatic Date Speedmaster today. But today, we're going to look at a couple of other iconic Omegas, starting now. So let's get going. So you should recognize both these pieces. This one here, the Michael Schumacher Edition Omega Speedmaster Automatic Chronograph Mark 40. Seen here, worn by Hodinkee founder Ben Clymer. And seen next to the 10th Anniversary Edition uh, Moonwatch done by Ben Clymer. And this, the mid-sized Omega Seamaster Professional, most notably worn by a prince himself. Seen in almost every photo with this watch for the last, I don't know, couple of decades. Fantastic piece, guys. If it's good enough for Prince, it's good enough for you. So which of these fantastic timepieces do I want? Well, I'm going to be honest, I want them both. But we're going to start by reviewing this midsize because, quite frankly, I can't find much information on the midsize. Uh, the full size, most notably worn by Pierce Brosnan in four consecutive James Bond movies. Omega, very attentive to that, making sure everyone in the world knows this watch. The uh, laser, sadly not available on the production version. But what is available on the production version is a beautiful, beautiful timepiece starting with that uh, hippocampus on the uh, case back. No display case back on this piece, unfortunately, but that was kind of before the time of display case backs. You do, however, get this beautiful wave dial, the original, the vintage wave, uh, recently brought back by Omega, um, but fantastic nonetheless in its original form. On the wrist, this 36 millimeter, while this one is fitted a little tight for my wrist, is extremely, extremely comfortable. I actually prefer this bracelet to the modern bracelets. I actually prefer the mid-size bracelet, being an 18 inch bracelet uh, width, to the uh, full size. And the mid-size head actually fits my wrist at six and three quarters very, very well. You get the unidirectional bezel of the full size. You get the uh, helium escape valve of the full size. This is a Honey, I Shrunk the Kids version of the Bond SMP. This is the same watch shrunk down to fit a smaller wrist. So you have a lug to lug of 44 millimeters, a lug width of 18 millimeters on this piece. So it does fit slightly smaller than the 41 millimeter bond watch. So coming in at 36.2 millimeter case size, it's definitely smaller, but it packs a big punch. This one specifically, the reference 2551.80.00. It's a 27 jeweled caliber 1120 with a 44 hour power reserve. I definitely want one of these guys. I suggest you pick it up and I appreciate the owner letting me see it. Okay guys, so continuing on with this piece seen here in A Man and His Watch. This is the uh, Speedmaster given to Ben Clymer by his grandfather, which in turn created a watch blogger, which in turn created Hodinkee, which in turn created a lot of us. Uh, this one still with the uh, plastic on the dial and on the case back to protect it. And I'm going to leave that on for the duration of this video because I do not want to be the one damaging this fantastic icon. This icon being the uh, reference 3520.53.00. Fantastic piece and seen next to my Speedmaster Reverse Panda, you can see it's the same 39 millimeter casing with the same 44 millimeter lug to lug, the same 18 millimeter lug width. I'm not sure why, but I actually thought that the uh, Schumacher Mark 40 was a larger timepiece than my uh, JDM Reverse Panda, but it is clearly not. And you can see the uh, 36 and a quarter millimeter casing of the midsize SMP is actually very close. All three of these watches 
would be perfect for a wrist my size or a little smaller. Uh, anything from a six inch wrist to a seven inch wrist should be perfect. So back to the stats on the Mark 40. This is a caliber 1151, 25 jeweled movement with a 44 hour power reserve. Now you don't get the water resistance of the 300 meter uh, Seamaster Professional, but then again, that's a dive watch. This is your racing chronograph. And if you need 300 meter water resistance in a watch that you're using for a car or a plane, you really need to rethink your career. And you can see they've used just about every color and every shape they can for these hands, yet it does not look cluttered. And that's, uh, that's a, a big feat in itself. This on a Hirscht strap, the rally straps. I love the rally straps personally. I'm so glad this one was actually on a rally strap. And actually, if we pan over here, I'm gonna pan over just for a second. The gentleman that loaned me this watch is actually wearing his other. That's right, he has two, both on these Hearst rally straps, both fantastic. I could not be more jealous at the moment. But back to the watch on my six and three quarter wrist, you see it does not come over. It sits very nicely, very squarely on the wrist. Near perfect sizing at 39 millimeters with the 18 millimeter width uh, bracelet. I think I said 18 inch earlier. That would have been a really, really wide bracelet, would it not have? So what do you think, guys? Do you think this Speedmaster is worth the three grand it's going for lately? Uh, you know, a couple of years ago, it was averaging fifteen to two thousand dollars. Now you really can't find them under under three thousand, and uh, it's a shame because it's a fantastic watch. Uh, sit next to mine. I'm glad I have my Reverse Panda. Quite frankly. I would sell my Reverse Panda in a heartbeat to obtain one of these Schumacher Mark 40s. I think they're fantastic. I think they're only going to increase in value as time goes on. And I think if you have the means, pick one up. Don't worry about the size. Don't worry about the price being close to a modern timepiece price. Just get one. And the same goes for this uh, SMP. The midsize, I, like I said, I couldn't find the midsize reviewed very many places. I actually think the midsize has a lot of benefit over the full size. Uh, one being it just is more comfortable. And for a dive watch, it's much less clunky. When you think of utility watches, you don't want a watch that's gonna get in your way. And I actually think all three of these watches work really well for that. So which is your favorite guys, the SMP, the Reverse Panda, or the Mark 40? Let me know. Let me know in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe so you have a chance to win the uh, drawing when we get to 1500 subscribers. Not that far away guys.